Hi, Carol here. And I want to talk to you about dressing your camera for the rain and snow and everything in between. This isn't such a fashionable dressing thing, it's just a dressing thing. Those of us who shoot sports, and probably some of you, you creatives who really, really want to capture something that's taking place in the snow or in the rain without having to go to Photoshop and fake it, need to be able to dress your camera. As you know, I shoot the GH3, and it has a hardened and water-resistant body, and this is the 12, I'm oh, sorry, this is the 35 to 100 lens, also has a watertight uh, feature to it because it's a pro lens. That's all awesome, but you still don't want the rain pouring down on it or the snow melting into it. Just because it can get wet doesn't necessarily mean that it should or that it should get soaked and soaked and soaked. So my answer is to dress my camera in a raincoat when I know I'm going to be out in the snow or the rain or whatever comes down in between, like last week Thursday night when I shot downhill snow ski racing in the middle of a snowstorm. It really was kind of awesome. So let me show you what I'm doing here off camera. I have this little pouch that houses uh, these two pieces. The pouch is a Lumix lens pouch which I never use, but I always keep them because they come in handy for something. And there was that something. Um, this piece is a collar that goes around the lens hood. We'll talk about that last because I'm not very apt to use it. In my Nikon days, I had the big brother to this small raincoat, and then I did use that collar a lot. So um, this is what it looks like, and it would go on like this. There's a zipper opening here at the bottom and then the clear plastic that you can see the camera through and the lens comes out here on the sides we have holes for your hands so that they can go in when this bottom is zipped to put the camera in you just put it in that big hole in the bottom bring the lens hood out the front like this and there it's on now I'm going to tighten um, the bungee here to give me a snug fit around the lens hood. It's easier to do that in my lap. So I'm going to take it off camera and tighten it up. And there it is. Now, if it's really, really raining like crazy to the point where it's plopping on the ground and splashing back up, I will zip this bottom closed and put my hands in through the handholds. I can only think of one time in 10 years that I've had that happen. So typically I don't. For that matter, unless the rain is coming down at a real angle, I'm more typically, typically going to shoot like this. So I've taken the back part with the zipper and I've folded it under. So now I have sort of a little tent over the top of the camera. And instead of using the hand holds, I'm just going to do this because that really works. This is the easiest way to shoot in precipitation. Like I said, unless it's coming down at such an angle that you actually have to have the cover over. But you can see through, see the camera right through the plastic, and the same is true here on the back. Um, you can see right through um, to the screen and to all the controls. So that's working really, really well. Um, again, this is my favorite way of shooting. It's like a little tent. And I'll show you a picture of what that looked like, all covered in snow from last Thursday. Um, this is made by Kata. K-A-T-A on the little label there. I don't know if you can see it. I will add that to the comments on this post um, and also find you a link so that you can find where to buy it. Now, let me show you how the um, attachment of that collar works. There's a strap here on the where the lens comes through um, and it's velcro and it goes onto the velcro that's right here on the collar I can put it all the way on like this so that it's folded over there and then this whole collar will hide inside of this material or which I more commonly would do is I'm going to attach it down a little and then fold it over so I have some of that strap on the outside and then I'm still going to be putting it on the inside like so. 
I then just bring the camera in like I did before, through here. And this time, I'm just going to tighten that collar around the, um, the lens hood, pull up the jacket, and tighten it. So there's the way this works now. The advantage here is that I now have a seal right there where no water can drip in, where before this went straight onto the lens hood and it is possible for a little bit of water to get into the lens. I found with my Nikon that I really liked that and when I've used it on the small cameras, I didn't like it so much so I typically don't. I always have it with me though. And that's my best advice for uh, having rain gear for your camera. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, so I always travel with it. Until next time, make sure that you subscribe to Small Camera Big Picture. There's lots going on here all the time. Take lots of photos, remember the video, and keep dreaming.